property modes we have two types one is Generally. list generally the single value you can store the values like and there are there are three types of uh, single value means you can use like text will be there date will be there any any data type which are available in the prpc like date time like uh, then text uh, drop down not drop down integer decimal okay there will be 6 to 7 uh, uh, values available in the property mode okay and next one is page mode another one is value mode okay page mode kind in the value mode again we have value You can see that one in the. Yes. I will show you that one. Open any property, property type. You can see like single value means these things. These are the available uh, data type: date, data time, decimal, all these things. Okay. We have page level. Page level means I will I will show you that one. And we have advanced. Advanced the valuation value group will come under advanced, but those will call as a value mode. Yes. Value list and value group. Page page mode is just like a page, single page. We call it single page page list. These are the available uh, modes. Page group. Page group. Ah, yeah, sorry. Page group. Okay. Now the difference. You know, single value. How to use this one? Value mode is not, Value list is nothing but ordered list of the values. Like if you want to store all the uh, countries in the list then you can use the value I mean country of one dot name and you can use country of two dot name like that you can use that one this is the value list value group means it is unordered list of the values like here here the, I mean, the order will be there value of one value of two value of three will be there here the value group I mean if you want to identify the address, I mean, if you t if you say address as a the address will be two types, address for home, address for office. Here there is no order, but you, you need some key to identify the address. We call home and office as a keys. So if you want to access the value group values, I mean value group values, then you need to, you, you need one key. Generally internally it will built based on the hash hash functions. So hash uses keys, so in order to identify val value group values you need to use keys. Coming under uh, page mode, we have single page, page list, page group. I can say single page is nothing but a, a group of values. Group of values related to a single object. Let us say if you take a candidate, in our case, if I am saying candidate as a page, Candidate contains different properties like first name is there for the candidate, last name is there, email is there, different properties are there for the candidate. So I can say that candidate is the collection of the values. So I can say it is an object. Object contains again values. It is a collection of values. It is a single page. Page list and page, page group are similar to the value list and value group. The only difference is page list is the collection of pages. Like if I have a number of candidates, I can use page list. If I have page group, page group means it is a, it's a unordered, uh, unordered thing of the, I mean unordered uh, group for the page mode. Like the example will be like this. Uh, here. Here, you, actually, these are this this will serve for this one because address again contains different properties. Address means not only just a single value, right? Home means address contains like uh, street, uh, some some other properties like pin code. Some values will be there. Okay. Here we can we can use some other example. Address won't serve here. Value group like yeah, for example, phone number. 
phone number for office phone number for phone you can use this one so here this is same thing but the page group will the collection of the pages which is unordered way if you want to uh, make it an ordered way you can go for page list if you if it is a single page you can go for single page this is just a brief introduction and yeah. if, if you see here in our case if you go to data model the properties will be in the data model category if you go to the properties if you see here candidate is a page mode because you can see you can expand this one the arrow mark here you can again get the properties for the available for the candidate okay if you open the definition further just click that one you can see single page okay this is single when you when you when you if you, when you want to define a single page you need to provide the class name because it is object of some class right if it is a address address related you need to provide the address class here because here it is a candidate case then we are providing candidate case here that is single page if we want to store multiple uh, properties you need to just change it to the page list okay this is how we need to use now just i'm giving we need to use this actual that terminology in the data transform just for that reason i explained that one so now if you want to store the entire page list into another page list as i said page list contains 100 records right so one way is if you want to store 100 records into another page list of 100 records what you can do you can traverse one by one like you, in java we can use for loops right for for i equal to 1 y equal to 1 i less than equal 100 i plus plus then we will write the logic and and we will traverse for 100 times if you want to if you want to access the 100 records so the system is such much intelligent if you give set here in the target you need to give the uh, page list in the source you need to give the page list directly it will directly it will dump the entire page list into the target values no need to traverse each and every record that is the powerful okay you are saving lot of execution time right So instead of tra traversing each and every record, you are directly dumping the source page list into the target page list. Okay. For that reason, also you can use the set, not only for just uh, uh, formatting the uh, source, but you can also uh, for some use some some other purposes. Now, I will give one more example. Like right? next, go for remove. Remove is nothing but remove will remove the pages from the clipboard. If you see clipboard. So these are advanced topics, but you can. It will be useful for uh, whatever you are you, you are seeing at the user pages. These pages will be called as a top pages. We call it the top level pages or top pages. Okay. If you want to remove any pages from the top pages, you need to use the remove or remove action in the data transform, and you need to provide the page name. Okay. If I use PY work page here. I wish not remove that one, but just I am giving example. If you give PY work page, first we need to mention the PY work page in the page and classes. PY work page, and you need to give the class name. Okay? Then you need to give the PY work page here. Then it will be removed from the clipboard. In some scenarios, in activities we will create the pages, but we need to remove the pages. Why? Because if we don't remove the pages, whatever you have seen in the clipboard, right? This is a memory. so each and every class will use some memory if you if you don't remove when it is not necessary i mean at the end of the day you will get a memory out of the exceptions i mean memory is already utilized i mean already exhausted because you did not remove the pages which are not applicable for that scenario so if you don't re if you don't need that page on the clipboard you can remove that one uh, using the remove uh, remove action okay and one more thing update page update page is nothing if you want to update embedded pages when i say embedded pages again i'm going to clipboard whatever you see here this is a top level page whatever you see inside this top level page is embedded page now here in the py work page we have number of embedded pages again if you go for i will open actual work object you can get okay i'm going for py work page now you can see candidate is a embed page for the py work page okay because it is not the top level so it is embed page for the py work page if you want to update those type of properties you can use the update action like you can use the same thing here 
I can so I can achieve the same functionality by using update page as well. I will show you how you can achieve that one. First we need to define the py workplace dot candidate. We need to give the class name here. What is the class name? I'm just copying from here. And then if we want to update the candidate case, I need to select the page. Okay. Because candidate is I know that cam candidate is embed page. Okay, if you want to update the page, again uh, click arrow mark, you can set the values now. Now I am getting the full name right. Now you can see the first name. Here also you can use the with values from if the values are already there in the clipboard, you can use the clipboard here. If, you, if the values are not there, you can use the, because first name and last name is already there in the clipboard, right? So I need to use the with values from. So even if you see relation, it is changing based on the action. If it is a set, you are getting equal to. For remove, you are not getting any relation. If it is update from, update page, you are getting different relation. So the relation is also changing based on the action. This is a context sensitive. Now I am, if you, I mean if you are directly giving hard code values here like Subba Reddy, no need to select any values from the clipboard. But I need to use the values from the clipboard because first name and last name is already there in the clipboard. So I am using this one. I am giving like, I am using the same candidate page because values are there in the clip, uh, candidate page only. First name, last name. And here you can see some gear symbol is there, right? If you don't know the syntax right here, we don't know whether the syntax is correct or not. You can use this symbol. Open, click that one, gear symbol. Okay? Now you can see the same logic here. Now you can use validate here. You can use some, if you want to use any additional functions, like we have, you need to select the library. Um, let us assume I'm using some mathematical calculations. I am not using here, but let us assume I'm using some mathematical mathematical things. I need to use the math related. It's not there. Okay, I'm selecting all. So it will give all the functions. Like if you want to uh, get the maximum value of some list, then you can use max. These are the all the available functions. Okay, you can use those functions. If, you, if it is required. In our functionality, if it is not required, so we are not using any function. I mean, building application is not simple like uh, uh, appending these things. You can use number of available functions. We have ne whatever uh, you can see in the Java, like functions, you can use the same predefined functions. These are coming with the product. No need to develop those things. Okay? And if you want to, val and you should know that whether it is a valid or not, right? Cancel insert. Oh, if you do, if you are not sure of whether the syntax is correct or not, just click validate. We'll get meshes. Expression is valid, so you can go ahead, save. If the, ex if the expression is not valid, then you will get error uh, while saving itself. So instead of uh, saving that time, uh, you can use this gear symbol and you can validate whether the expression is correct or not. Here I need to provide some page name, otherwise uh, it will be error. Okay, I will remove all this again. This is up to, this is how, how about we can you update the page. But okay, we can. this is going to give an error at runtime, right? Like you are removing three by one page and candidate, you know like update page, same page, get the value. So by the time the uh, comes no, no, Because why, why it is giving design time is, you, you gave action, but you didn't give the target. Okay, but tar I mean system should know which, which, which page you want to remove, right? If right. I give you empty, that means, I mean, system, how, we, how can it, you know, it can assume? Right. Which page you want right, to remove? Right. Yeah, but what you said is right. But this particular, this syntax, whatever now there on the screen, mm. if we give PY much page candidate there, then it's going to give a runtime error, right? Yeah, yes. Assume yeah, that you enter PY. Yeah, okay. That's what it 
I'm we can I mean it is it's just I'm giving example we should not uh, remove yeah, 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 yeah. if you want to remove any pairs if it is not required then only we should use that one okay right right we should use some pairs at design level system should not know, should not know that one right. so it will it can it can accept right. any pairs which is there in the pairs and the classes tab okay okay so first define here and you can use that one here so oh, next oh, action so if next it is a particular pair yeah particular pages and classes not there in the pages and classes those uh, classes we cannot uh, uh, use here i use here because system should not don't know that one by the time design we are in design time right system will check in the pages and classes tab okay but during run time it won't give any error if the class is not there in the clipboard just the the the, the, the i mean the action should not be executed that's it it won't give error okay it should not okay. give sometimes i mean we, we don't know during execution when the page will be available when the page will be is not available in the clipboard so at that time so what we do if the page is available it will remove if the page is not there so there is nothing to remove right right already the page is not there so nothing to remove we want to give error for that reason okay and next action is i'm going for next action And these are very advanced topics. If you are comfortable with it, then I can go ahead. Yeah, I am okay? comfortable. Okay. If you want to, uh, if you want to call some other data transform, like, uh, and Pega recommends that if the logic is going uh, uh, more lengthy and lengthy, what happens? It is very difficult to maintain, right? So, if the if it is exceeding 16 actions in one data transform, you can create sub trans sub data transform. You can call it that one here. If you want yeah, to call yeah, any. Yeah. 